So today we're going to uh, do the mask and weather head. So this is a two inch rigid pipe. You cut this, it's got to be three feet off the roof. You got to file it on the inside so it, it doesn't uh, damage the wire. Just kind of make sure it's not as sharp. And you just taking the burrs off? That was we left a piece. It was a piece that we grabbed everything that was together. Change the piece. Grab. The thing that wrapped around the head. They said shut up not far. That piece right there. That piece, this piece right here, this is like, this is the, the wire tension eye bolt. So this goes around the pipe like this, and this will take the tension off the wire so that it's not putting a whole lot of pressure on the mask. Just do that. Just do that like that. That goes like that. If you tighten it up, you put it about halfway. this wire. So coming up, you only need three wires. Going to Georgia Power, they only need three wires. They want two hots and the neutral. Going in the house, we had four wires. Two hots, a neutral, and the ground. The silver wire is the neutral wire. in Atlanta are old and outdated. And back when they, you know, they're doing these houses, they were doing 100 amp panels. Now you got computers, electric cars, microwaves, space heaters, hot tubs. 100 amps is not sufficient. So now the average size of the panel is 200 amps. So everybody is upgrading their services. And to do that, you gotta go through the city. And you gotta pull permits. And you gotta bring the house up to code. So it's a lot of revenue in it for the city, for the contractors, for everybody. So, and it upgrades, it increases the value of your house. So, a lot of people do this, man. And you wanna make sure you leave in Georgia Power enough wire to, met, to play with. Three feet is good enough. We probably got them about four or five feet. More than enough, you know what I mean? They'll cut off the extras. Just twisting this to make it tight. Those are, you know, already in, in you know, got insulation and all that, but this doesn't, so you're gonna have to kind of make it tight, right? This is called the weather head right here. Rain. 
man. Always wear gloves when messing with this stuff, man, because all this stuff's sharp. So got a lot of hand cuts playing with this stuff. Even the panel on the inside. Wear gloves, man. This is real metal. Save yourself. You want to do electrical work, not look like you do electrical work. always want to face it towards Georgia Power. Like, you see, that's the transformer right there. That's where the power coming from. So you always want to face the weather head towards the transformer. Everything got to be tight, man. You torque everything. You don't want nothing to be loose. Not in electrical, man. Everything in electrical has to be tight. I use my needle nose to knock these out. These, these are the three holes the wire's going to go through. Usually I have my neutral coming through the bottom, then my hot's going through those. the head on there because you don't want water coming down going down inside there so final touch people is your west your mast and weather head mast and weather head and all we gotta do is tighten this up around it this is the tension i bolt they'll wrap their neutral around it and that'll just take the tension off the wire but y'all can do that later all right all right